the prettiest? Show sure enough! Am I the baddest mofo low down around this town? Show sure enough! Well, who am I? Show sure enough! Who am I? Show sure enough! I can't hear you. Show sure enough! Hi guys. As you can see, I was just knocking the dust off a of show enough. It's been a while since I've done anything to this, this dusty girl. So today, we're gonna go ahead and get some stuff done. So, one of the last places I left off was I was on this manifold. I still have two waste gates to add to it. And I still need to finish this little elbow on the, on the up pipe, down pipe. So, yeah, we got some material for this. We still got the stuff to go on here. So let's go ahead and get this hot side all wrapped up, get some EGT bungs on it. Getting closer to done. Oh yeah. All right. Well, I just cut an elbow and test fitted it. And it fits pretty darn good in there. Yeah, definitely gonna weld that in place. Get that all tacked up, weld it up. Then we can move on to the two waste gates. Then those waste gates are going to recirc back into this, so we only have one hole coming out this body, and that's going to be this, this up pipe out the fender. Okay, oh, let's shimmy this hood out here a little further. And get you guys a view. -da 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 -da. There we go. And the tack, tack, tack. Before we take this apart, might as well also just get the wastegate pre-drilled. Gotta cut a hole there for the wastegate, so yeah. we're gonna go with a smaller bit. Let me go change that real quick. I gotta go change my pilot bit out real quick. There we go. Oh, there's the top wastegate. Opened up. We'll get that all tacked on. And then we'll do the other one on the bench because that one's going to be hanging up down underneath here. So we'll just do that on the bench. Yeah. Let me see. 
you that time. I saw it come out. 357. 357. Yeah. I think it's because we lost the alternator belt. I got like There we go. There's our elbow. Yeah. Now a manifold. Oh, it's been a while since I lifted this. I forget how heavy it really is. We'll know here in just a moment. Honestly, it feels heavier than one of those Pro Mod 88 turbos from that Camaro. Really? So what size is this one? Smaller. But those have the nice thin SFI stainless housings, and this has the big, thick T4 divided cast iron. Toss out even weighs a ton. Ugh. Time to get the vacuum cleaner, suck out some shavings, do some bench welding. Show sure up. Look at all that room. I think I could fit one of them Pro Mod 88s in here. 55 something. Oh yeah. Big turbo. All right. Well, we're already over at the bench. And I got some foil shoved up inside there. It's, it's kind of hard to see, but there's definitely some foil in there. I got my back purge unit. And so the foil's gonna stop the gases from going that way, come this way. And we're gonna weld those little bees on here, just like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some gas back purging. And we're also going to tack that on, weld it on. And then while that one's cooling, I got the elbow for the exhaust already all set up. It's got some aluminum foil with a couple little holes in between the V-band flanges. On this side, I got my more solid aluminum plate one with a nipple to hook my back purge up to so you can back purge all that. So. I just got done welding that first wastegate flange on. So we're on the bench cooling down. So yeah, it's, I don't even want to touch the foil right now. So that's cooling. And then I've gone ahead and already plugged this in and I got it back purging. So I got it flowing some gas in it right now. You know, so balls floating in there. Woohoo! Show sure enough. Yeah. Anyways. That's knocking the oxygen out of the inside of there real quick. In a few minutes here, I'm gonna go ahead and put it back upright like this. 
I'll go ahead and I'll knock out one flange all the way around the bottom, flip it over, do the other thing side. So we're gonna have our exhaust elbow done here shortly. And all that's left for that is, you know, integrate the waste gates once our uh, bellows show up and then an O2 bung after those are placed. So yeah, it's coming along. Pretty color. That elbow's all welded. Show enough this hot side's coming together. Woo! Alright. Well, we got this wastegate welded on. We got this pipe all welded up. We got one more wastegate to go. So we got this piece right here. Pretty beveled it. I did that a long time ago. So yeah, we just gotta tack this on. Then circular saw that out, and then we can tack the other the wastegate on, back purge it, and weld it all up. So let's do it. Stainless, you don't want to push hard. You don't want the bit to burn up because it's real hard to pull. You want the bit to do the cutting. Woo! So close. Alright. Well, we got ourselves a hole now. That wastegate will breathe. So now that I got a hole there, we'll go ahead and hit it with the deburr real quick. And then after that, I'm gonna start back purging and we will weld this one on permanently. Yeah. Alrighty, well, I just got that all welded on. Woo! Well, got the turbo manifold wastegates all done. Yeah. Got the downpipe done. Now all we got left, do some wastegate tubes and an O2 bone and our heart hot side is done. Well, actually gotta put the EGTs on. That'll be in order for tomorrow. But for tonight, I'm glad to have the manifold pretty much all knocked out minus the EGTs. And I got the, the downpipe built, so we just have wastegate integration and an O2 sensor left there. So all in all, we got a lot done. And I also was working on something on the side. This is going in the SRT for the curse. This is gonna be the front sump on, or the front extension on the trans pan here. Let me get my glove off. And yeah, so this, the filter sits about right here. The pan slanted like about like that. So I got a little extension on there like this. We got a couple, couple little nipples here for the transmission cooler, for the passive cooler. So I just got to cut a good section out inside of here. Whoop, whoop, like that. And weld it up. And he's got himself a one quart more capacity trans pan plus a passive cooler that's going to add another about three quarts to the system. So that'll be a total of four quarts we're adding to it. So that'll definitely help it keep from overheating. So 
Oh yeah. Get some curses away from the curse. Go, 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 go